In continuation of our review of different sectors in 2021, tonight we look at health. Well, the health sector was in the spotlight most of the time, with low points and a few highs. Our correspondent, Mary Alala Yusuf, was keeping tabs on the goings-on and is here with me uh, tonight in the studio. So, Mary, hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Indeed, yes. Uh, so what can you tell us? What do we need to know concerning uh, the health sector for 2021? Well, you know, for the second year running, we had to battle with COVID, contrary to some people's expectations. They thought maybe we'd be over it in 2021, but no. Throughout the year, we had COVID-19, and it was taking some of the uh, attention away from cholera, which, by the way, was the worst one of the worst bouts that we've had this year. And then um, Lassa fever as well. We also had two strikes, two doctor strikes in this year. And um, we changed our DG of NCDC. Let's watch the report. Nigeria came into 2021 on the second wave of COVID-19. And by July, the more virulent and more transmissible Delta variant, famed for deadlier cases, was in the country. And so began a third wave, starting in Lagos State, the epicenter of the disease. The first shipment of COVID-19 vaccines via the COVAX facility arrived in March and others followed, totaling up to 10 million vaccines so far. Another variant, Omicron, which some experts say is not as deadly as Delta but more transmissible, was announced in South Africa in late November. And in a matter of days, in spite of the immediate border closures against South Africa and 10 other African nations, including Nigeria, was in scores of countries, including Nigeria. Cause for concern in view of several factors, its transmissibility, the approaching Yuletide and many Nigerians' flagrant disobedience to COVID-19 non-pharmaceutical measures. People um, meeting together in large numbers, traveling without masking or showing physical distancing or uh, again without getting their vaccines makes for um, all of the ingredients that you need to uh, make uh, for a really large surge. No surprise then that Nigeria entered its fourth wave of infections in mid-December with daily new cases in the thousands. The pace of vaccination continued to be a matter of consternation with the percentage of those 18 years and above who had received one dose of the COVID-19 jab at 8.8 and fully vaccinated people at 3.9% as at December the 27th. Unfortunately, the federal government had to destroy more than one million vaccines because they expired in storage. We had developed countries that procured these vaccines and hoarded them in their stores. At the point that they were about to expire, they were offered for donations. Currently, we have a situation where vaccines are available. In November of 2021, a new Director General, Dr. Ife Dayo Aditifa, took over from Dr. Chikwe Hekwazu, who went on to be the Assistant Director General of Health Emergency Intelligence at the World Health Organization. COVID-19 may have taken center stage in 2021, but cholera was on the loose in 32 states and the FCT, with a more serious showing than the previous year. In week 50, there were over 109,000 suspected cases and over 3,000 deaths. Lassa fever also broke out, albeit on a smaller scale than 2020, with 99 deaths recorded. On a celebratory note, early in October, and for the first time ever, the WHO approved a malaria vaccine called RTSS, or Mosquirix. Community demand for the vaccine is strong. It is safe. It significantly reduces life-threatening severe malaria. A resident doctor's nationwide strike launched on April the 1st was suspended about 11 days later. When resumed in August, it was met with federal government's no work, no pay rule. 
The issues were non-payment of salaries, arrears and hazard allowances, among other things. It was called off after nine weeks and the signing of an MOU. Doctors say some of the demands have been met, but not before the massive exodus of doctors to other countries seeking greener pastures. 2022 has all the indications of being a challenging year, given the twists and turns that the COVID-19 pandemic and other health threats have taken. To face these problems head on, health personnel and the government must have a handshake. Well, this handshake must mean that there's peace between the federal government and doctors, peace with, between the federal government and health workers, and peace between the health workers and doctors, so that there will be a settled house. An unsettled house, at best, has hindered progress. Ayo. All right, many thanks, Mary Alala Yusuf, for that report there on the health sector in 2021.